Welcome back. Sorry to post this up a day late. I actually just forgot to write it in the schedule. What a way to miss a deadline. Anyways, let's go to Heatman. Now you might be wondering, oh, what makes you feel hot and bothered? Mm -mm -mm. Is it a robot trying to kill you? Because if so, you should call the local authorities. This guy. Oh, my mouse is still there. And welcome back. Um, so I'm surprised that so many fans don't make more fan games for this. There's, there's a couple really famous ones. For example, there is a uh, Mega Man Mario Maker level uh, level design thing for the game designers out there. Um, and there's also great games like Mega Man Unlimited, which I think tries to... Oh god, was, was it that or Mega Man Corrupted, which was like the one where you fight Zero and it's sort of like an in-between of Mega Man uh, 1 and X. Um, like, I love some of the fan games of the Mega Man franchise, almost more than the actual games. Like, um, the p as you might have noticed because, uh, this- Oh! Uh, you might have been wondering why we went to Flashman first. And that's because- Where's- where's tool number three? I forgot how to use tool number three. This is not tool number three. This is the options and select screen. Uh, where is tool number three? I'm- I'm certain I got it. Uh... And we're back! Turns out I need to press start on the next button, or I just wasn't hitting the correct key. So I have the flashman power, and I have the three key. The reason why I went to flashman siege first was actually to do something like this, and I missed it entirely, in order to get up to this platform faster. And there's actually a couple glitches which I'll try and do, but I'm not sure if one, I'm good enough to this uh, version of the game will actually allow me to do the glitches. So you'll see, probably see me die in a fire. Um, especially since I don't have this boss's weakness, and I'll have to... I swear to god. I swear to G. Roly poly. Jump and jump. You, you see, it takes a lot of effort to jump and shoot. You see, you can't just uh, go willy nilly on it. Like, there we go. Oh my god, that was way harder than it needed to be. Okay, okay. You bouncy motherfucker. Ow! Damn you! Ow! No one saw that. As far as everyone knows, that was a smart thing to do. Oh yeah, here's another reason. So. Oh my god, I forgot all about this. So, these blocks, uh, which are the bane of many people's existence in the Iceman stage, have decided that they want to be uh, fiery and passionate. Um, so the biggest glitch that I remember from this game was you take weapon number three, and then you kind of put it here, and then you land on top of it, and I don't think I, I'm good enough to do it, unfortunately. Um, or know how to do it. Ah, damn it. Okay, let me try one more time. You just land on top of it, and then it pushes you into the wall. Maybe... Damn it! Okay, uh, screw it. I'm just going to... Even though this was the reason why I went to Flashman Siege in the first place? Fuck it. Um, we're gonna do... Wait, what if I fell that way? No, I'll just use two. Like, what if I just did this instead? Like, one... And then... Nope, that doesn't work. Damn it. Oh well. You live and you learn, and then you get item 2 instead. Next time, I'll go to Airman first. If I can handle it. Oh god. A monster. Abomination. Ow! You fuck! This is, like, the hardest level in the game for a lot of people. Certainly not me though. I'm a I'm a I'm a genius man. Oh yeah, so there are a lot of good Mega Man fan games like Mega Man Unlimited, Mega Man Corrupted, or the Mega Man fan making community, um which or fan the Mega Man Maker community. Which because there are a lot of Mega Man inspired um getting rid of the Getting rid of the trampoline, getting rid of the, uh, making me do a high wire act in front of you. Oh god, this part. Okay. Let's do it. Hope you're ready to see a death montage. Damn it! Patience. 
Sometimes they disappear at the same time. That's the weirdest part. So you just gotta get the timing down. So. Huh, and now the timing changes. I wonder if it's based on the loading screen. That'd be funny. Because that would make some of these semi random. Yeah, I think it is, because this feels somewhat random based on when I enter the side of the stage. So that might be... that might mean that... 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Oh, this is gonna be a bitch. I think it's just straightforward. I'm going to proceed with that in mind. Oh, I'm sorry, I was talking about Mega Man fan games. Mega Man Unlimited and Mega Man Corrupted are good examples of fan games that have sort of transcended. Like, the one where Mega Man and Mega Man X are connected is probably the best of the, um, fuck. So Mega Man X Corrupted and, uh, Mega Man Unlimited, uh, are two, uh, games that are well known for being exceptionally good. There are also a couple of remakes of like Mega Man 8 in 8-bit form, um, Mega Man Rockman 2, I think. There's at least one where I think Roll is fighting Dr. Wily. There's there's a ton, I, I'm sorry that I can't remember the name, like 20XX is probably a, a famous, um, or I guess Mighty Number no. 9, is a famous Mega Man inspired game that um, has taken off. Uh, 20XX actually more than um, Mighty Number no. 9 from what I hear, which is really sad. Uh, but the point of this is, I would like to see, like, Mega Man fans do Sonic Mania level shit. Like, Ego Raptor talked, or sorry, not Ego Raptor, Aaron Hansen uh, of Game Ropes talked about um, how Metroid Other M, even though it kind of ruins the characterization of, um, or the tone, I should say, of the Metroid series, it does provide an excellent gameplay framework for a 3D shooter. And he mentioned that um, Mega Man games. He thinks that a good 3D Mega Man game would be uh, made like their system. And I would love to see a game like that come out. Fuck you! That was just trying to dick me. That was intentionally designed so that I need to understand that before I can proceed. You son of a bitch. I hate you. Ah, I love this game. It's flawless. Flawless. There we go. Um, but I would like to see the fans come up with a, uh, Nifrit Other M style of Mega Man. Obviously not something that ruins his characterization in such a way, though if Roll was the star that would be kind of funny. Um, just, it's a nod and a wink and all that. Um, but I'd like to see a 3D mo uh, Mega Man game or something like that. Like, Legends is is the go-to, which is like the RPG Indiana Jones Mega Man. Uh, and I actually love it, even though a lot of people hate Legends, especially since it ends with a cliffhanger and they were supposed to make Legends 3. And, oh my god, the main, the ending of Mega Man is he's stuck on the moon. He's stuck on the moon. He's like, wow, there are a lot of robots up here. And Roll is trying to make a robot come back to Earth. I wonder what's gonna happen. But no, he's stuck on the fucking moon. What the hell? This is like a... This would be like a Lord of the Rings ended with them being like, Well, here we are, stuck in Moria. Wonder what's gonna happen. Ah! 
Like, I'd rather have Battle.net and Starforce be canon. Not, not saying Battle.net is bad, I actually haven't played Starforce. It's one of the franchises that I haven't played in Mega Man. I also haven't finished Command Mission, so I guess I'm not a true Mega Man fan, but whatever. Um, uh, Star Force. Um, but I, I just think that Battle.net and Star Force can't, um, can't be compared to this game just because the plots are so weird. That's it. This game creates its plot sort of on the fly. As you might imagine from, like, Mega Man 1, uh, if you saw the first episode, I literally showed you, like, every bit of it. There was no exposition, no dialogue. You're just sort of in the title screen fighting some dudes, and, uh, limitations of hardware at the time probably caused that. But, in addition to that, they probably just thought, like, people would understand it's a mad scientist or something. But this is the, really the first game with any ex exposition, and it was at the, uh, title, it was at the title screen where it was like, 20x, 200x. Um... And it explains, like, Dr. Light is the main hero, who you saw at the end of the first game. I don't think the first game had that, except for in the instruction manual. Um, so that's a really weird way to deliver exposition. And as you can see, I cannot play and talk, because I haven't been able to focus, and I've, like, failed at this jump how many times by now? I might actually cut ahead until I get to the point where I'm dying a lot. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna do that. the other where I was before so I wouldn't lose my sanity oh yeah maybe maybe I'll just keep this one going that sounds good yeah couldn't see this one going wrong at all not even a little bit that would just be wait I couldn't even jump fast enough oh my Fucking God! Ah! Ah! I may have died on the way to get here. Oh. Have a good old fashioned rage inducing. Ah! See you soon. Damn it! Why? This is a game designed for children at or around the age of five. I don't. I beat this at or around the age of five. What the fuck was wrong with me? What the fuck is wrong with me now? I am overshadowed by the accomplishments of former me. What the fuck? Fuck, man. That's ridiculous. Did I just, like, beat Airman and then get the jet to get past here before? No, I remember jumping this piece of shit. And I remember I did it multiple times, too. So I don't know what's up there. Fuck you! You saw that shit, right? Yes! 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 Yeah! <laughs> One life left. <laughs> oh god, if the boss kills me, I'm fucked. Um. Oh god. Oh, I don't want to deal with this. Better mood yet? Fuck you! That was not a better mood. Oh, god damn it, now I gotta fight this son of a bitch. One life left. 
Welp. Oh my god, if I lag, I just have to do that shit all over again. Ah! Well, time to win. Do you feel the heat? Do you feel the pressure? Now this time, I've learned that fire enemies are reactive enemies who counter you. They do an attack every... No. No! No! God damn it! Well, guess I'm editing this again. Hope you're happy with the music. Ah! Okay. Then I took four attempts. Back in one life again. What's four or five? Whatever. What? One more continue and one more down. That's... Mega Man, Mega Man! They're called Sniper Jones! Shut the fuck up! <sighs> Same shit, different day. Okay, so like I was saying before, Fire enemies in Mega Man 1 and 2 like to counter. Thank you and thank you, Nicholas Olsen, in the comments for telling me I'm a fucking idiot. Now it's time to prove you all wrong. Prove you wrong. Prove Dr. Light wrong. Prove my family. Ow! That was too fast. Speaking of Sonic Mania. Ow. Oh, that worked. Oh. oh! Okay. Oh. Yes. Some like it hot. Not me. That that was fucking atrocious. Oh hey, doctor. Send me the news. You got a bad case of what? Oh. Oh, item one, is that like, make you a robosexual? Oh, you're calling me number one. Oh, yeah. I don't even remember what number one was. Yes, I do. They were the little floaty platforms. I can jump, I can create my own platform with blackjack and hookers. Oh my god, I'm the best little boy. Oh, and for those of you who wanted to follow my torment at home. Here's the password. It's A1, B2, B5, C1, C3, C4, D2, E1, E2, and all that shit on the right. <laughs> well, I might have forgotten everything, but I get to feel triumphant again. Holy shit. Kid, do I get to feel triumphant? Please, try something. Oh my god. I love this game.